Mabuhay! My name is James Santiago, a Department of Tourism Accredited Tour Guide, and I am here at Barangay Santo Nino, city of San Fernando, Pampanga, Philippines. Here we can find one of the most historical structures located in our city, the San Fernando train station. So come and join me as we discover the history of the San Fernando train station. In 1887, the beginning of the construction of the Manila-Daguban Railroad was granted linking all the small trading points in Luzon. The first section of the railroad from Manila to Bagbag was completed and put to commercial operations in 1891. The entire line from Manila to Dagupan was completed and operated in 1892, having a total length of 195.4 kilometers. One of the stations created was located in San Fernando, Pampanga. The San Fernando train station was inaugurated on February 23, 1892 by Governor General Yuloyo Despujol and Archbishop Bernardino Nozaleda as part of the Bagbag Mabalakat stretch of the Manila-Dagupan railway system. The entire four-sided wall of the train station was made out of bricks which held this structure for many years. The train station currently has a total floor area of 281.4 square meters. Charles Henry Keating, a British railway engineer, helped build the Manila-Dagupan railway system in 1890. He is part of Philippine history for marrying Leonor Rivera, the childhood sweetheart of the national hero, Dr. Jose P. Rizal. The station witnessed important moments in our history. On June 27, 1892, Dr. Cerizal disembarked from the station to visit his friends in San Fernando and Bacolor, possibly to recruit them as members of the La Liga Filipina. Among those visited by Rizal in the course of the organization of the league were Tiburcio Hilario, also known as the revolutionary governor of Pampanga, and his brother Cecilio. He visited their ancestral house here in San Fernando and stayed there on many occasions. From legal defenders, reformers, and propagandists, they became rebels and leaders of the revolution and were imprisoned in Bacolor and later exiled to Siasi Holo, while Cecilio was sent to Balabac, Palawan. The San Fernando train station became the site of one of the most horrible moments of World War II. The structure was put to a test in 1941 when the Japanese Imperial Army invaded San Fernando. It witnessed many clashes between the Filipino fighters and the invading Japanese Army, which caused damage to some parts of the train station. After months of intense battle, on April 9, 1942, the American and Filipino soldiers surrendered in Bataan. More horribly, Filipino and American prisoners of war marched 102 kilometers route from Bataan to San Fernando in a march to death. The captured soldiers were forced to walk with no food, water, and rested rarely. To every Filipino and American soldiers who witnessed and experienced it, this was one of the most terrifying experiences in their lives. The train station served as the ending point of this death march. From here, survivors were transferred from San Fernando train station to Camp O'Donnell, Kappa Starlac, and Cabanatuan, where thousands more died from disease, mistreatment, and starvation. During this crucial time, the prisoners of war were divided into groups of approximately 100 men. The march typically took each group around 5 days to complete. The exact figures are unknown, but thousands of troops have died during that time because of the brutality of the Japanese soldiers who starved and beat the marches and bayoneted those who were too weak to walk. There was a time when the San Fernando train station ranked second to Manila in terms of revenues and thus became the second most important station of the Manila-Dagupan railroad system. That event signaled the beginning of the exponential growth of the town brought about by the sugar factory 
known as the Pampanga Sugar Development Company in the province of Pampanga. The structural integrity of the San Fernando train station was once again tested following the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991, which devastated Pampanga and covered the rail tracks of the station with volcanic mud flows or what we call lahar. The building was completely abandoned after the disaster. Years after the eruption, the train station was abandoned. The city government of San Fernando, through its public and private partnerships, preserved the important heritage structure in 2005. The restoration of the train station was funded by Tourism Infrastructure and Enterprise Zone Authority or TIEZA and it was listed in the National Historical Commission of the Philippines on April 5, 2005. Today, the San Fernando train station serves as a community heritage center. It is open to all tourists, students, and other guests who want to visit and know more about its importance. The San Fernando train station, through its historical significance, leaves an inedible mark in our hearts for us to remember and cherish heroic sacrifices of our ancestors for the younger generation and future generation as well. See you at the San Fernando train station when things are better. In the meantime, stay home, keep safe, travel tomorrow.